guys we made so many videos on the abdominal esophagus okay where i told you guys that um it is actually a long lecture and i didn't want to actually put up everything together okay so i i i split the lectures into the arterial supply anatomy applied anatomy venous drainage the lymphatics and everything okay so in this we'll be talking about the venous drainage of the abdominal esophagus and like you all know the abdominal esophagus is the lowest part of the esophagus that is closest to the abdomen hence its name abdominal esophagus so moving forward we said that we are going to talk about the venous drainage of the abdominal esophagus so the question is what is the venous drainage of the abdominal esophagus and like i told you guys most of the esophagus most of the esophagus is located in the thorax okay but the part that is closest to the abdomen is actually what we call the abdominal esophagus. So, like I told you guys in the blood supply, we have the inferior phrenic artery, then we have the left gastric uh, artery. But in the venous drainage, uh, what can we say here? Uh, from this picture, let me just guess. I think the left gastric vein will be there, okay? But any other vein, I don't really know. Left gastric vein will be there. Um, Hemiazygous vein will be there. Or a subphagial branch of azygous vein. Okay? Because I know these are the two veins that are in those um, portocaval um, anastomosis. Okay? And lowest part of the esophagus is also part of the portocaval anastomosis. So moving into what we have in the lecture. We said that the lower end of the esophagus is drained by a zygous vein and the left gastric vein. Okay, so these veins drain partly into the systemic vein. Uh, these veins drain partly into the systemic vein and the portal vein. Okay, so uh, veins accompanying left gastric vein drain into the portal vein. Okay. Why others drain into the portal hemiazygous in the thoracic cavity and continuous into the venal azygos and superior venal cava. Let me go over this again. The lower end of the, azygo, uh, of the esophagus is drained by what? Azygos vein and left gastric vein. Okay? Um, these veins drain partly into the systemic vein and the portal vein. These veins drain into... Okay, they are like the portal cava, okay? So, portal system and... The systemic veins okay and these vein okay the veins accompany the left gastric vein now this this is the one that it is uh, part of the portal system they drain into the portal vein the ones accompanying the azygos vein okay those are the systemic system they drain into the portal hemi azygos vein okay so that's it and um Mm. all right so this is still it and um this is our stomach now can you see this part of the esophagus that is coming to join with the stomach that's the abdominal esophagus okay that's the last or lowest part of the esophagus okay i could see that it has veins supplying it and uh this is a left gastric vein and um the other one should be the esophageal branch of the azygos vein or the hemiazygos vein, okay? So these are the two veins that are actually drain, not supply though, okay? Because it's like veins, so it's like a drain, okay? So that those are the two veins that are draining the abdominal esophagus, okay? So that's the last part of the esophagus before it joins with the stomach at the cardia, okay? That's it about right. So therefore, the lower one third of the esophagus is a site of potosystemic anastomosis. Like I told you guys, I already have a video on the potocaval anastomosis or potosystemic anastomosis. Okay, that you guys will find useful. Watch. If you want to watch that video, just comment on this lecture and I'll drop it. Okay. So uh, those are the veins on the lower one third of the esophagus and they are part of the potosystemic anastomosis okay with the left gastric vein being part of the portal system 
and the hemiazygous vein being the systemic side. Okay, so that's it about the venous drainage of abdominal or cephalus. All right, see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye for now.